Beyond this guard post, through the mist, is North Korea. This is the front line, a demilitarized zone splitting the two countries. To the left is no man's land, and yet right next to it, in the south, normal life. But all this hides what is now a rapidly escalating standoff. Foreign diplomats the other side of this border in Pyongyang have been told their safety will no longer be guaranteed. This is the latest bizarre appearance by Kim Jong-un, inspecting his troops and even giving them a lesson in how to fire a pistol. Along with the threat to the diplomats, it may well be nothing more than continued rhetoric from the north. But new intelligence reports suggest worrying weapon movement. These long-range missiles here three years ago in the capital are now thought to have been moved to the east coast and onto launchers. They are not nuclear and are untested, but are capable, it's thought, of reaching as far as Japan and the US base on the Pacific island of Guam. To counter any launch, Patriot missile batteries are now in place at US bases across the region. North Korean rockets should be shot down in seconds. Byung-Yi Kim is a security advisor to the South Korean government. He told Sky News that he was undoubtedly more worried, but still confident of his country's defenses. South Korea has the capability to shoot down and destroy every one of the uh, jet aircraft that North Korea has. If they're long-range artillery, uh, 5,000 uh, of them, and then their increasingly accurate uh, short to medium-range missiles are unleashed, it can hurt us, I would argue, conservatively speaking, 75 to 85 percent of our entire both human and non-human infrastructure. The town of Paju is just one mile from the border with the north and only a few more from where North Korean artillery batteries are thought to be based. Jong Won is a mechanic here. Watching the baseball, not the news, he doesn't appear overly worried. But he told us he is less relaxed than he was. His view, he said, was that Kim Jong-un is just trying to show off his power. The same routine he'd seen so many times before. He did concede, though, that there is something more concerning this time. And so in towns like Paju, which is pretty much on the border with North Korea, the concern isn't those huge and frightening looking missiles. It's much, much smaller weapons, artillery rounds, which are based just a few miles over there and could hit anywhere here at any point. And that's the crux. A small scale strike here or anywhere along this border would almost certainly prompt an overwhelming American and South Korean military response.